welcome back to our channel good morning good afternoon good evening your time thank you guys for continuing support please subscribe to our channel if you haven't turned on the bell for more video welcome any members to do don't god bless if you're passing by please join us so you're supporting us may the lord support you in everything you lay your hands amen to the news and details guys do us a favor if you haven't see that red but that red button that says subscribe the bell that says all as as you get to know when we upload new video permit me to read the news the way it is and the news reads breaking gunmen attack Yoruba nation coordinator Akinto a residence in Ado Ikiti. Government reportedly attacked the Ado Ikiti residence of Yoruba Nation Ad coordinator Professor Banji Akinto, the umbrella body of Yoruba Self Determination Group, Ila Ama Odua, made this known in a statement today by its spokesman Maxwell Adeleye. Attaching images from the scene of the attack, the organization noted that the incident happened on Saturday in the professor's absence. It also noted that the police had been notified. Part of the statement read, the leadership of the umbrella body of Yoruba Self-Determination Group, Ela Oma Odua, is displeased to inform the general public that the Ado Ekiti country home of its leader, Professor Banji Akintoye, was attacked on Saturday, 30th October 2021. Gunshots were fired into the house by the assailant, who who apparently climbed a chair outside the gates to shoot in. Luckily, Professor Banji Akintoye was not around at the time and nobody was hurt. Player suspected to be from AK-47 Raffle was recovered after they dropped from the ceiling onto the floor. The matter has since been reported to the Ekiti State Police Command for investigation, akin to a renowned historian hails from Ado Ekiti. He represented the old Ondo state in the Senate from 1979 to 1983. He is currently leading the agitation for, uh, for an independent urban nation from Nigeria. This is coming a few months after unknown gunmen invaded the house of of the Akintoye dynasty, a demoler, an engineer in Agbo Delta State. Examination the building, including his rich fish pond. The police did not arrest anyone up to this moment. The group lamented. Guys, that is how the news came. You should be asking yourself the question, why the attack on this man? What has he really done? Why would the gunmen go after him? Why would they go to attack his home? And luckily for him, he was not around as the news set it, and nobody was hurt. What is their aim? What wrong has Banji Akintoye done? I am confused here. Tell me, I don't understand it. Why would they go after him? They, in quote, we know as for, um, as for Sunday, it was the DSS that went after Sunday, but this one they're saying unknown gunmen went after him and attacked his home. It was well planned. But the question is that they missed their target. Let us quickly take some reactions from some Nigerians. Somebody says, this is unbelievable. This is what they have been wanting to do. How many people would they silence, somebody says? This should have not have happened. Professor, ha Professor is not standing on anybody's way, somebody says. This is unbelievable. Everyday bad news. Thank God he escaped on hot, somebody says. Why would he be attacked? What wrong has he done? He is only speaking out for Yoruba Nation, but they want him down. Allow the old man to rest in peace, somebody says. Guys, we have a lot of comment. Let's quickly also take this one. The federal government knows who made the attack, somebody says. They know because it was well planned. They want him out because he's still standing for Sunday Igboho. So they want him out. And remember already Sunday Igboho has been declared a terrorist by the government so they want anybody that is supporting him out somebody says 
the Eurobus should stand up and do something before they lose somebody like Akintoye, somebody says. Guys, it's just unbelievable. Going after <laughs> um, a, a harmless man, somebody that is not carrying arms. I don't understand it. I just don't understand it. Every day you tune uh, to the media is just one bad news or the other. And honestly, this is really sickening. What has he done? Anyway, we remember that the federal government said that anybody that starts agitating for the country of their own is the enemy of the government. They said it themselves. I did not say that. Go make your research. It is there. And they stood by their words. And now they're standing against anybody. Well, we should be thankful that he wasn't hurt. We should be thankful that nobody was hurt. But the question is, who are those that invaded his home? That is the question we should be asking ourselves. They know those that invaded his home. It was well planned, but the question is that they missed their target. And the Europeans should wake up. Should wake up. They should not be sleeping and they should not just allow this slide. Ha! Because the next one that is going to hit them, they might not be able to understand it. Professor has spoken out for what, is, for what he believes in. And he said that he will make sure that the Eurobars get their own country. Ah, the president is not even taking it lying down. He doesn't want to hear about it. And he wants every form of agitation to come to a stop. Why other people that are carrying arms, they can walk freely without nothing happening to them. So, and just remember that Sunday's home was also invaded, but um, a lot of things were destroyed by the DSS. They came up and they said, yes, we did it. But this one, nobody has owned up and no arrest has been made. These are my thoughts. Let me know of yours in the section below. Please, at this moment, if you're not subscribed to our channel, do us if you hit that red button that says subscribe. The bell that says all so you do not miss our new upload. Thank you for your continued support. Continue the conversation in the section below. I love you guys. And I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye, guys. Bye.